Assalamualaikum and good morning students. Your mission for today is to state Newton's law of motion. Newton's first law of motion state that an object at rest will remain at rest or continues to move with uniform velocity in a straight line unless it is acted upon by external forces. The notation is summation of f equal to zero. We can conclude that objects keep on doing what they are doing. Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia. Inertia is the tendency of an object to resist any changes in its state of rest or motion. Inertia depends on mass. See, this is a very large sofa. What's special about it? It's stable. It is not moving. Now go ahead and try to move it. Oh, you can't. It's not willing to move. You can't move it as it is very large. Now try to move this small stone. Good. You can move it a little bit. From the video just now, we can conclude that a bigger mass needs a bigger force to overcome its inertia and change its motion. A particle is said to be in equilibrium when the vector sum of all forces acting on it is zero. The notation is summation of force equal to zero, which means the resultant force at x component and y component are zero. When all forces which act upon a particle are balanced, then it is said to be in equilibrium. Balance means the value of the upward forces equal to downward forces and leftward forces equal to rightward forces. For example, 70 Newton leftward force is balanced by 20 and 50 Newton rightward forces and 40 Newton upward force is balanced by 40 Newton downward force. This particle is said to be balanced. Particle in equilibrium is either remain at rest. When remaining at rest, an object is in static equilibrium or move with a constant velocity. When moving with constant velocity, an object is in dynamic equilibrium. Newton's second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it. According to the Newton's second law of motion, F net equal to dP over dt, where P equal to mv. After differentiation at constant mass, we will get F net equal to ma. From the equation of F net equal to ma, we can see that force is directly proportional to acceleration. The greater the net force acting, the greater the acceleration of an object. The acceleration is in the same direction as the net force. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action force, there is a reaction force of equal magnitude but acts in opposite direction. When you push on the wall, it will push back with the same force. Action and reaction must act on different objects during an interaction. They do not cancel out. While a frog is swimming, it pushes the water back and the water pushes its body forward. Now let me ask you a question. Say a bird is flying upwards. Will the Newton's third law apply here? Sometimes the third law is not so obvious. You'd probably say that the bird is the only object here and there's no second object. But that's not correct. The wings of the bird push the air downwards and the air pushes the bird upwards. Action and reaction forces make it possible for birds to fly.